Good day everyone, this is Mama Doko and today's video I will be giving you a comprehensive list of collective noun for group of animals from A to Z for let review. And on this video I will be giving collective nouns for mammals and marsupials. And before I proceed, if you are not subscribe please do and click the notification buttons for new videos and don't forget to click like and post your comments apes a group of apes is called assuredness of apes badgers a group of badgers is called a seat of badgers Bats. A group of bats is sometimes called a cauldron. Bat groups are also called a colony when in a large cave or a cloud when a large group is in flight. Beers. A group of beers is called a sloot or a slat. The group of bear cubs is called a litter. Buffaloes. A group of buffaloes is aptly referred to as an obstinacy or a gang of buffaloes camels group of camels traveling together under human control usually in single file is called a caravan or a train an unorganized group of camel is a herd cats a distraction refers specifically to a group of wild or feral cats a group of domesticated cats is a clouder, pounds or glaring. For kittens, a kindle, litter or intrigue. A coalition of cheetahs. A male cheetahs may form a coalition of two to three members, generally brothers, to increase their territory range and defend it from other cheetahs. Females, by contrast, are generally solitary except when raising a litter. Dogs. A group of dogs is called a pack. A group of stray dogs is called a cowardice of curs. For puppies, litter. Elephants. A group of elephants is called a memory of elephants. This is in reference to their strong family ties intelligence and reputedly long memories also you can use a parade of elephants elks a group of elks is called a gang of elks donkeys a group of donkeys is called a pace of donkeys ferrets a business of ferrets the book of saint albans give ferrets the collected term business which today has become business foxes a group of foxes is referred to as a skulk leash or earth giraffes a group of giraffes is called a tower of giraffes as their heads can often be seen sticking high above the trees on the horizon goats a group of goats is called a tribe or a trip Gorillas. A group of gorillas is called a band or a troop. Less common is a whoop of gorillas. Hippopotami. Spending their days lazing in the water and nights grazing on the riverbanks, a group of hippos is fittingly called a bloat. A cackle of hyenas. Hyenas are known for their slapping profile and demented laugh a high-pitched cackle they emit when frightened or excited jaguars a group of jaguars is called a shadow or prowl of jaguars javelinas a group of javelinas is called a squadron of javelinas the word javelina derives from the spanish word for wild boar a mob of kangaroos and just like in human mobs there is usually a leader 
a boomer or adult male who is only in power for a short while before being challenged and defeated by a rival boomer. Lemurs. Lemurs belong to a group called prosimian primates defined as all primates that are neither monkeys nor apes. They work together in groups and so conspire, leading them to be called a conspiracy of lemurs. A leap of leopards. A leopard can leap over 20 feet and jump up to 10 feet into the air. Leopards don't leap together as a group though. They're solitary big cats, but their leaping ability helps them nab prey such as speedy gazelles. A pride of lions. Lions are the only species of cats that form social groups. Most known prides include up to five females, two males, and their young. Lions were traditionally seen as regal and elevated, so their group is called a pride. A richness of Martins. The Martins was the most sought after because of its valuable pelt. Back in the 15th century, large sum of money was paid for the coat of Martin. In the eyes of a huntsman, spotting a group of Martins is like winning a lottery. A group of moles is called a labor of moles. Moles spend their lives underground, digging tunnels to reach their prey, which includes earthworms, snails, slugs, grubs, and any other insects they can find. In such a dark, dirt-filled environment, moles don't need senses such as powerful eyesight like some other animals do but they depend on other adaptations for their health and survival a group of monkeys is called a barrel of monkeys this alludes to the playful and amusing behavior of these primates a group of mules is called a barren of mules a mule is the offspring of a male donkey, jack, and a female horse, mare. The mule is the most common and oldest known man-made hybrid. It was likely invented in ancient times in what is now Turkey. They were common in Egypt by 3000 BCE. A mule is sterile, so calling them barren makes sense. A group of opossums is called a parcel of opossums. Parcel of young opossums climb onto the mother's back, clutching onto her fur in what appears to be a highly uncomfortable situation all around. And eventually, the young opossums strike out on their own after a month or two. Otters. The collective nouns for otters are bivy, family, large, rump, being descriptive of their often playful nature. Or, when in water, they are called rocks. Oxen. Oxen are beasts of burden and often used in teams of two paired for light work such as carting. In past days, some teams were about 14 and even over 24 lagging. A wooden yoke is fastened about the neck of each pair so that the force of draft is distributed across their shoulders. They are trying to respond to teamster command. Group of oxen is called a yoke, team, drove, or a herd of Oxen. Pigs. According to the Northern Prairie Wildlife Research Center, the term litter is used when referring to a group of young pigs. When referring to swine, the appropriate collective noun is sounder. When discussing hogs, 
the term passed is correct. A group of words is referred to as singular. When discussing a less specific type of pig, the collective nouns herd, flock, and huggery are all appropriate terms. A group of porcupines is called a prequel of porcupines. Porcupines are famed for their quills, which are actually large, stiff hairs that help defend the animals against natural predators. It makes sense when you think about it. Rabbits. A group of rabbits is called a flapple. A gaze of raccoons. A group of raccoons is called a nursery or a gaze of raccoons. The word raccoon comes from a Powhatan Native American word meaning scrubs with hands. A group of rhinoceroses is called a crush of rhinoceroses. A rhinoceros comes from the Greek rhino, which means nose, and ceros, which means horn. Rhinos gather on the African grassy plains in groups of up to 12. However, the collective noun was most likely inspired by the rhino's tendency to charge at anything unfamiliar. A group of seals is called a harem of seals. A group of females with a dominant male, it, it's a harem. If it's just some breeding seals hanging out, it is a rookery. A group of skunks is called a stench of skunks. The skunk is a mammal primarily known for secreting a foul, noxious, smelling oily liquid from its anal glands and spraying it from its rear end when it feels threatened. A scary of squirrels. A family of squirrels is called a dre, while a group of unrelated squirrels is known as a scary. An ambush of tigers. Though the tiger is a solitary animal, where a number of these cats occur together, the correct name for the group is a streak or an ambush of tigers. A gam of whales. Gam means a herd or school of whales or by extension a social meeting of whalers at sea. A dazzle of zebras. A group of zebras can be called a dazzle. Some zoologists think zebras use their stripes as camouflage when they're together in a big group to confuse predators by making it harder to pick out individual zebras. Zebras can also be called a herd or a zeal. Thank you for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Bright Minds. Thank you and have a nice day.